Good morning, YouTube. Today we are seeing 10 actual filler. It is a black low bat, as you can see. It is for the domestic market, so we haven't built the landing gear for them because in China, they usually hook up the tractor and never detach it. To make sure the loading deck could be adjusted, they use hydraulic system to design the kimping plate to move up and down. Uh, this is a braking line and uh, electrical line here. Uh, these holes are for the hooks and the ropes to fasten the cargo on top of it. Here is a caster steel hook hook here. This is the reflector and the welding thing you can see from here. Okay, and here is the loading deck. As you can see, they built different uh, sections for different use. The side light and the roof poker. This is a side reel. And now we are in the tire area. Which is, you can see, it's a rocket beam suspension. Each line have uh, two axle for tire. So one, two, three, four, five. It's uh, ten axle. This plate is for the big machinery front wheel. Won't come up and uh, stuck into the goose net. Now it's a loading rope ramp. We call it ladder. It's uh, manually made by the springs. And now it's the rear of the filler. Here is a safety bar to keep it uh, up when it is not being using. Okay, now we are on top of the filler. Usually the filler is very heavy because it is a rocket beam suspension. So the tire is uh, exposed to the outside. The maintenance could be easier. And this is the length of the loading deck. So usually for the big machinery, that's why they use 10 axles. Now it's a uh, goose neck. Goose neck, they have a two box here, and uh, there is the hydraulic system which they would use to adjust uh, the kingpin plate, but we didn't install it yet. Okay, everyone, I think that this is the filler we are going to look today. Hope you enjoyed this video, and talk to you later. Bye.